Hey planners, welcome back to the channel. It's Sarah here, Creating with Sarah. Thanks so much for stopping by in another planner video. Today's video is gonna be an exciting one. I'm going to set up my planners here. These are the top three focus of my July lineup. If you guys haven't already checked out that video, it is up and live, plus a little giveaway for you all. So if you guys wanna check out this video, then keep on watching. Alrighty friends, thanks for stopping by. So if you're new to my channel, hello, welcome to my planner world. I get a little nerdy about planners, but I'm all things creating and planning and just having fun. So today we're gonna be um, setting up my planner, but I'm just gonna share with you guys kind of like a before and I'm gonna set it up and show you some tips and then I'll just flip through it. Um, so this is my skinny classic for social media. I have this one to the side because I'm gonna pull some things out of here to put into this one. Um, I'm gonna change some disc. I have my two big happy planners here. One is for fitness and wellness and one is my catch-all for like mom, wife, home, just all of that above. So um, I'm gonna do a little bit of decorating with these two planners and adding some accessories that I have on hand. So I'm gonna just put this to the side and share with you guys some of the things that I'm going to be using. Okay, so I have some fun alphabet letter stickers here. I don't have like um, my name like printed. Usually a lot of planners will um, find a great Etsy shop that they love and have their names printed and sent to them. Um, I just normally just use stickers that I already have on hand. So I have fun alphabet stickers and then I have, I hope I have, <laughs> I have this folder here that should have, okay, let me go grab that. I grabbed the wrong folder. I have these two big folders. These are just like um, desk record keeping folders. I don't know. This is when Happy Planner came out with like their storage system and they had these folders to go with it. Um, and then like these big Mambi sticks came out. So this is pretty much how I organize them. They're not like super organized, but this is where I keep them. Um, so I have my letters here, which I'm kind of debating. I know there's like some newer ones at Joann's I'm supposed to go by later to find that memory keeping that just came out at Joann's only. And there are some holographic letters that I've been meaning to get, so we'll see. And there's tie-dye. So uh, a lot of the Happy Planner has like these fun Mambi sticks that I just like to use to spell out my name on the cover pages. So I have these here. And then also what I have in this stack is a lot of the new Happy Planner Mambi sticks of the Princess, the Disney, all those fun stickers. A lot of it is, some of it's old and some of it's like, that's been in accessory packs. Like this one was in a, a big Happy Planner accessory pack. Um, this is an old Mambi stick. It has a lot of great inspiration quotes. And then these are the big jumbo and what I like about these is that these are paper and not clear. So my idea for this is, and the Mickey ones are too, they're paper. So go through your stash. The papers are gonna be your best bet um, for, and then these squad ones. There's some other letters that I had in my stash. But the old squad, um, this is from a Be Happy box. Those are clear. So this pack right here with all the squad on it is all paper and they're really large and I needed a solution, a quick solution because I'm trying to get my planner set up so I can start using them. But, um, so this planner right here, it's beautiful, but it has all this black smudgingness to it and it really, really bugs me. So I'm going to um, decide on which stickers I'm going to place on here. Um, and then I'm also deciding, that's what I'm deciding this time around, just to try it out. I always like to try new things. So I'm going to put these large stickers on my covers. All three of them are gonna have some stickers. Um, and then I also have Shine Sticker Studio die cuts. I talked about these in my last haul. You guys check that out, they're very summery. And these are also paper. You can use clear stickers, but they just, you won't be able to see them unless you have like a white one. Like this one would probably be great if you had clear accent stickers like 
um, some stars or something that you can see it better. But I'm gonna use paper because it just, it's gonna look a lot better on my planner. And I was kind of going for the theme of, you know how everyone decorates their water bottles. So this was like a sushi pack that I got from Shine Sticker Studio. And then sometimes she throws in her little freebie ones, which that one says LOL. So I thought this could be cute too. So I was kind of saving these and that's kind of an idea of what this would look like. This is so cute, right? So this kind of reminds me of how people deck out their water bottles. And lastly is disc. Um, I have I have an idea to, I'm gonna try to use extender disc for my leopard one here for my like mom catch-all planner. I'm gonna use these pretty like lilac purple. I just love, I love the contrast. I think those would look really well. And then remember when I hauled these, these are from Joann's. Um, they are the Maggie Holmes. So they're kind of like a happy planner dupe or something, but they're clear with gold. I know Happy Planner came out with some really cool like chrome ones, which I want to get my hands on. I just haven't ordered it yet, but I thought this clear would look good with this um, planner here until I get the other ones and see how these do because these are a lot of bit, they're really thin. They're a little bit thinner than the Happy Planner ones. So we'll see how these work and if I will probably eventually order the other ones because I really like the clear disc with the glitter, um, especially with this white cover. I think it looks really cool so yeah i'm gonna go ahead and um, set these planner up and we'll do a flip through Alrighty, friends i have set up my planners for july to the end of the year so i'm gonna go through them really quickly and share with you guys how i set them up they're really cool and fun again this is my style and i wanted to do something different i really haven't done um, what I'm about to show you what I did to my covers before so this is kind of fun to do for the end of the year um, So I did change disc on my skinny classic and then my everyday planner on Expanders and this is actually my first planner with expander disc um, I took off the black disc and added color because I love for my planners to have color. They don't have to be metal um, I'm always plastic, team plastic, so um, yeah, I'm super happy how everything turned out. Okay, so first, let's talk about the Skinny Classic. So this will be my social media planner. I did add those Maggie Home Clear uh, Disc. This one snapped on me, and this is what I was talking about earlier. These are really thin. Um, I'm just going to use these until... You know they don't hold up anymore but I, I think I am going to order the happy planner chrome glitter disc because I don't want that snapping later I had to add tape to it so what I did is I decided to add those maybe sticks that I was telling you guys about I think they're really pretty and I really like it for my social media planner and I picked Snow White because I like the way she was looking up at this quote and then on the inside here, I'm gonna try to zoom you guys in. Okay, so on the inside here, I decorated my cover page. Um, I used the Happy Planner alphabet letters. And then this actually said um, hello in this leopard. It was too matchy for me. So I just used that sticker sheet that I shared with you guys that come in the big Happy Planner accessory packs. Um, I think it was like plan or life's a party that collection they did which was one of my favorites um i put that there over it because i think it looks a little bit cuter and then i add shine sticker studio stickers these are clear and i added some of those quotes from the Mamby sticks and i added shine sticker studio here i added a pocket i like adding clear pockets to my planner so i can stick stuff in it um, these I've talked about numerous times on my channel. I get at the Target dollar spot um, and I bought a bunch because they only come once a year around back to school and they're for like teachers and organizing and things, but I like using them for my planner to stick stuff in. I have ordered the clear pockets from Alicia Michelle XO. I've ordered stickers from her Etsy shop and I actually ordered the some two more big clear pockets for my big happy planners they just haven't came in yet 
So I just I love doing that. So I added some sticky notes here from my Simply Gilded subscription box. I added these post-its. These are really nice. Any kind of um, post-its that have like a good sticky back are really great for the Happy Planner covers because it's kind of like laminated and you can stick a little bit in there and not make it too bulky. So just I put just a little bit so it closes nicely. It's not bulky at all. Um, okay, so then um, I took my little... I made this little sticky note thing from Happy Planner. A lot of Happy Planners have made this, um, so it's nothing new. <laughs> um, but it's fun to do if you're new to Happy Planner or planning in general. You take a bunch of sticky notes and you can just, um, you kind of recycle the packaging that Happy Planner has and then you just punch it and put it in your planner. I like that it's clear, so I like the look of that. Um, and then I added a new bookmark. I switched it out. Um, you guys have probably seen my little organizer. Again, I'm, <laughs> I'm obsessed with these organizer. So this is my little organizer that I have all the Happy Planner bookmarks, uh, the larger dividers, and then like the envelopes. And then the mini ones that, when they used to do that. And then some of the dry erase boards. I kind of just use that to help close this. Um, so I picked up a new one. This is the back to school one. And then what I did is I put another bookmark for when this year ends and it starts in January, 2022. Um, and then I added some, some half sheet paper because I left this in here. Um, I just decided to use this half sheet paper. It's bullet paper. Um, for my ideas. So I will use this for extra paper to write down my ideas. And I put this bookmark here so I can tab that. But I used to have like a section, I would take all this out and then the rest of this would be just completely half sheets, but I decided just to put in what I need and just keep this. That way it's, you know, it's a little filled in because um, I didn't want to have to put this somewhere else. <laughs> so. That's how that is in the back of this planner. And then I added a new little envelope. I swapped that out and whatever stickers I had in my old one, I put in that one. So I have a new one to use. This is really cute. This is part of the Disney companion packs. So that's what's on the in the back of this planner. And then in between each month, I added this little mini half sheet. It says to do and I can write all my to do's or pre planning there. So August has one September, October and so forth. So that's already set. Um, so yeah, this is my social media planner so far and how I have completely set this up until the end of the year and I'm ready to start planning. Oh, I didn't show you the back. So in the back side, I decided to pick Jasmine because I just, this is kind of like my favorite sticker pose. I've used this before in a spread and I just love it. She just looks so fierce. So it looks really nice. It's, again, these stickers are really great for stuff like this. Um, so that is my skinny classic social media planner all set up. Now I can share my bigs. So here are my bigs, really cute. So this is my fitness and wellness and I decided to go with Shine Sticker Studio and I actually added some other stickers that I had. So these are the die cut stickers that you guys saw me haul and then I went through this sticker book to see if there's any cute paper sticker books that would match and actually this one is really nice. The little stars is what came from this one. And then I did add some fitness ones, which says keep going, the water bottle, the little kettle bell, is that what they're called? I don't know, it's a weight. But yeah, so this is all Shine Sticker Studio. I think that's really cute. I loved how it turned out. It looks really cool with the black background. Um, I didn't change the disc because it already had the colorful disc that I love. And okay, <laughs> I'm actually gonna sneak peek this one. So this one, uh, I just put one large squad Mambi stick on there. And I'll share that in a minute. Of course, I changed the disc. But with this one here, okay, I'm going to make some space. 
these planners are huge on my desk and there's just so much right now because I was trying to set this up. Okay, let me get situated here. Okay, so with this one, this cover page had like, um, it had like the teacher cover page. It said teacher edition, the name of the school and all that. So what I did is I took my old squad big happy planner. This is actually a divider, it's July. And it said, let's do it down here with flowers. And I wanted to put um, this sticker here with this quote because this is fitness and wellness related. So I thought this was really cool. So I don't necessarily have a cover page. This is my cover page. And the same thing is what I'm gonna do here. So I have this calendar here that I'm gonna keep because I really like this. So I can look back at this, but this I don't need. This is like a, uh, it's, Again, this is a teacher planner, so it has like school schedule. I don't really need this. I did think about using this somehow and swapping just this one page for this planner because I could honestly use this if I wanted to write down my kid's school schedule. I don't know. This is actually, I think, for a substitute teacher. So I could, the only reason why I'm saying this is because this is what Happy Planner does about having printing on one page. It, sometimes it's a little struggle, but I bet if they did do individual pages, this planner would be really big. So that's the only tricky part is when they do that because then you lose a page, if that makes sense. So I could swap this out and then put something over it but I'm just gonna do what I did here. I'm gonna find a um, something to put here that I'll need. It'll probably be just be a blank page to glue on that. But I just wanted to share that because that's what I did here. So get, give you guys an idea of what I did there. But other than that, the only thing that I have to take out of here as well is the back portion. I had some notes. Um, these teacher planners come with a checklist portion and then they have this notes, which every happy planner has this one sheet of notes towards the end of the back of the planner. This, I'm just gonna put a sticker over it. But I don't need this checklist, so I'll just take this out and I'll, I don't know, I'll probably just put it in one of my big happy planners to organize that. But that's pretty much it. I didn't really, I didn't put stickers on the back. Um, for now, I'm just gonna leave the front, but that's all that I did. Not a whole lot of setup on this one. Um, I will add a bookmark and things to this though. Actually, I should do that now. I forgot about that. So I will add, actually the one I wanted to add, I guess I forgot to grab it was this one. I don't know what this is, if it's grapefruit or, I don't know, I just like it because it's a, a fruit, I guess. But I thought this match is super cute. So I'm gonna put this in August because this was when this one starts. So I will start my full fitness and wellness planning back again in the teacher student layout or subject layout. So super cute. Again, I, I have ordered like clear pockets to put in here to put stickers and stuff, but it just hasn't come in yet. So that's pretty much all of the prep setups that I could do so far um, for that one. Okay, so for this one, I um, just used, again, one of the big stickers. I put expanders. And then when you open this up, I added one of these pocket folders for photos, mainly because I do memory keeping in my planners. And then I wanted to use this up. This is something that came in the Stay Wild Be Happy box. And I thought that I could use this for pre-planning and it kind of matches. So that way I can use this up. And what I do is I take, I just reuse these um, dashboards. So this is like a colorful leopard dashboard. So I can't wait to use that. And then I did put a bookmark 
in my monthly for July. Um, I probably won't plan as much. Obviously, we're to, to the end of July, so I won't get a chance to use this too much. Um, but when I do, I'll swatch it to August. And then if you guys watched my lineup, I talked about changing the currently pages. Um, let me show you in July. I think I left it there as an example. Okay, so this is from Squad. I decided not to. It just doesn't really go together. It's not really vibing with the whole jungle vibes. And I really, really, really like this planner. That's why I haven't really changed too much with this planner because I just really like everything about it. So I'm not gonna freaking plan these currently pages in there. I just don't think they work. Um, I'm going to just, you know, customize this how I'd like to for my home life stuff. Um, oh, I did add my name to the cover page. Uh, so I just used my ha Happy Planner letters, the colorful ones. I really like those. What else did I do? I think I added, yeah, I added my holiday theme stickers up at the top for birthdays. So I can go ahead and write that in just until the end of the year. Or actually I went more. I didn't go later in the summer of 2022 because this is an 18 month planner. Um, but yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. I didn't add any folders. Um, that's the thing. There's not a whole lot of big accessories, just like paper. And you can still use like these classic ones. So, um, that's pretty much all the setup that I did with the disc and the dashboards and bookmarks and adding my name to the cover page. Um, but again, this is my home planner. It's pretty much set. I do love this large sticker here. I did cover up that stay wild part, but I just really like the color and the contrast. I think it just looks really awesome. So that is my home planner. Oh, and I also, I did leave the whole planner in here. So this is everything on expander disc. It is heavy, but again, I don't work, so I don't have to like take this with me or anything like that. It just stays here on my desk, and then if I want to go downstairs, I can do that. But honestly, I just left it in here because it is on expanders, and it was a little light without it. So if, I, if it tends to get heavy, I will take the months that start in 2022 and just um, put them somewhere and then add filler paper to the back or something. But as of right now, it's it's okay. It just stays here on my desk or again, if I go downstairs and do planning. Um, so yeah, just for you guys to get an idea on that because you know, some people have said they don't use it big because they're heavy. Um, I think the 18 month planners are heavy because this is a, this is a 12 month right here. You can see it's a lot thinner. And so that's kind of what it looked like but a little bit smaller, but the discs were just too big. Um, yeah, so as of now, I like it how it is. I don't know, I may change it later as I start to use it, but that are my planners, guys. They're super cute, super fun. And yep, here's my classic, super cute. I just, I adore setting up planners. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, definitely give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you all in the next one. Take care, stay safe, and happy planning. Bye.